Alright, my name is uh, Jack Crooks and I've been rowing for three years now. I think my mom like rowed in the Masters Club for a while and then she quit. And then like sophomore year I think, beginning of sophomore year, I uh, she told me that they were like starting a junior club so I got in. I'm Heidi. This is, I started between 8th grade and freshman year summer, so like three and a half years. Rowing is such a different kind of competitive and I just kind of looked for different sports to try and and then my mom told me about this, kind of like Jack's mom told me about it. <laughs> and then I just came to like the first day and then I just continued. And I'm Claire Rutherford, I'm a senior at City High and I started a little over a year and a half ago, so the fall of my junior year. I uh, had a friend who moved to St. Louis and joined a rowing team there. Um, and they have a very developed team and has been there for a long time. And her, she was talking to me about it because her dad is a coach on that team now. And he'd been a rower here when they lived in Iowa City. So they were talking to me about that saying like, oh Claire, you'd be a great rower, you should try it. So um, I found a pamphlet about the club. So I, uh, I talked to the coach and I decided I'd come try it and then I just kind of fell in love with it. So <laughs> yeah. So there's uh, sculling and sweeping. Those are the two types. So sculling is when each person has two oars and they're smaller oars, and then sweeping is where each person in the boat has one oar and that's one big oar. And then there's like, in the boat, there's like different positions. So um, there's always like a stern and a bow, and in two, in like doubles and fours, the bow person steers either with foot steering and fours sometimes, or just with your oars and doubles. And, and then the stern seat, so the person in the front of the boat for rowers, but the back of the boat for if you're like watching. watching, is the person that sets the pace for the whole everybody in the boat. So yeah. it's like they're oh. called the stroke seat. So they kind of go with the cox, and the cox and will tell them what to do, like what stroke rating to go at. So they kind of get directions from the coxswain and then do that, and all the other rowers follow them. We're normally, I'm. we're both like stern seat or stern pair all the time. Yeah, so but yeah. we're also in a double a lot and so I'm bow, which yeah. means I'm the one who like steers the back of the boat and she is, just sits in front of me so it's like I follow her. It's not like I'm trying to keep you away from any of the secrets. We normally go somewhere around a mile, we run for the warm up in the Sometimes spring, we're... fall and summer-ish. And we go out on the water. And since it's like an all um, like an all over body workout, we swim, lift, run. What else do we do? Like we do like these... we had a Zumba practice. Yeah, <laughs> like we do like workout ropes and stuff like throughout the winter just to keep. See, yeah, yoga. We, we got to yoga, go to a class. yoga class. That was fun. It was team bonding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you plan on continuing the rowing in the future? Yeah, uh, I'm doing the men's club at University of Iowa. Was that something that you tried out for? Um, yeah, I, there's a tryout process for that, but the men's club isn't like super big, so I'm fairly confident that I'll get it. Yeah, I'm going to row at Iowa. I'm, I'm a walk-on recruit right now to Iowa, so I'm next year I'll probably start on the novice team, which is for first-year collegiate rowers, so um, that's for anyone new to rowing or just in their first year, and then you can work your way up to varsity, so I'm hoping to make it up into the top varsity eight. You would do better as if the, you're working together as a team. Like if one person isn't paying attention and working hard, you're not gonna you're go anywhere. Offset. So it's incredible how hard you have to work together and that's just, I really enjoy that. All right, hands in. Eight zero on three. One, two, three. Eight zero.